So then guys, welcome to the video, welcome back to the channel. Today we are actually in the airport again. We're heading to America. We're actually going to Magfest with Caddy, Caddy Chris. Basically off of the response I got from the last time I did a video with Caddy, I thought I'd do another one because you all loved it so much. We've literally just put our bags through to go onto the plane and now we're heading to, I guess, security. It's funny though, because this is the same spot where we were when I went with Caddy last time. And just over there is like the first class like security bit, but we're not flying first class this time. So we're going up where everyone else goes, oh, Addy's just met one of his subscribers. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, let's uh, see what happens on the trip. As always, I'm just going to film whatever and yeah, let's go. Right, guys, we are actually completely through security and I didn't get any sort of like nothing, which is very strange for me. I get called up on something usually, as you would have seen in the last time, but we're now in the shopping area, hence the music you can probably hear. But Caddy has basically said that we've got a lounge to go to, which is very exciting. And I think it's different to the lounge we were at last time. All the girls are looking at the perfumes and stuff at the moment, but then we're going to head to the lounge. Here he is. He is the man himself. The one responsible for this trip even happening. How do you feel? Look at this plane again. Suddenly we've got a board. We're casually looking at the board and it just went boarding for our flight. So we're now rushing to go get the float, which is gate 22. And we are currently at gate 11. Rushing. To be honest, because we're not turning left. We're at the front of the right line. Okay, so we're in premium economy this time. Not quite the first class experience as last time, which is totally fine. I'm not saying I have to fly first class every time, but I just thought I'd let you know that you're not gonna get me freaking out about all the cool stuff from first class in this one. We've got an entire row, because there's seven of us. Caddy is on the other side of the plane. The classic stuff will happen on this flight. I'm sure I will show you all the food. It begins with an orange juice already, which is nice. And it's in a glass. Here's to another trip to America. Okay, it's time for takeoff. We're in the air. See what the play has to offer. Okay then guys, the first food has arrived. It is a chicken casserole. Well, I chose a chicken casserole that uh, Zara's got for the same thing. And then we've got some sort of, it looks like goat's cheese or feta salad in here. I don't know what it is. We've got a bread roll and then what well, looks like a brownie or something. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna eat through this and carry on watching Bullet Train. Fast forward, what is probably six hours or so, we're about an hour or so away, I think, or maybe a little bit longer away from landing, and they just brought us afternoon tea, scones, and all of that. So yeah, I'm gonna eat all this, and then I think the next time I'll talk to you guys is when we're on the ground. And we have made it, everyone. We are here. Thank you, bye-bye yeah, now. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye now. Oh, hi, guys. Bye-bye. We are here. It's late, of course. Yeah, so it's currently, well, now half eight? Yeah, 20. Washington 25. time, which is half one UK time. So we gotta go get our bags and, and everything now, but here we go. I have absolutely no idea what we are walking up to right now. It's like this high up level thing. It's like some super tall bus thing that you can see out the window. This is crazy. We have made it outside. We're just waiting for our rides actually, which I uh, didn't realize this was happening, but we've had some lifts organized for us. Caddy's just been on the phone to the driver of one of the cars because there's two cars because there's seven of us, which means we can't all fit in one car. But now we're just basically waiting patiently. There is everyone waiting patiently for the guys to show up. We might be in the wrong place though, because this is like a taxi bit. I don't know if we've got taxis or not, because we didn't book it. So yeah, bit of a confusion at the moment, but we'll find out in a sec. So this is the ladies car, apparently. Enjoy the women's mobile. See you in a bit. We'll see you guys there. Now me and Caddy are in this one. Oh, just about got it. We're just arriving guys. Just put it in this massive hotel where we're gonna be for the next few days. Okay guys, we have made it inside. We will be wearing masks. The rules are here, clearly stated, which is a bit of a shame, I guess, but rules are rules. So sorry if the audio gets a bit muffled from now on. Caddy's just gone into a room and he's been locked into it. Hopefully he comes out again. So yeah, let's go see what this room's like. Okay guys, so this is Zara, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> This is Zara. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is Zara. <laughs> this room was an absolute maze to find. This hotel is huge. I was going to give you a room tour, but Zara's going to give you a room tour of our room. In the start, we've got a massive... Bye. See ya. See ya. 
I'll go bed me out. It's like a horror film. Come in, there's a massive bathroom. Switch. That is really bright. Two sinks. Lovely, his and hers. And we've got, got a bath. Have a little bath. Two double beds. <laughs> and then we've got a big TV on the wall. And is this real? Oh, it is. And then I'll show you this view when it's actually light, but this is all the hotel. But that is the room before we ruin it with all of our stuff that's in these bags. It's the next morning. Did get a decent amount of sleep last night though. So it's currently like half nine in the morning or so. But as promised, I thought I would show you the view out the window before. We're gonna head to the shops and stuff around here because Caddy and everyone else is gonna get here a little bit later. Look at that, it's a lot of blue gemstone looking things. Big quadrant of it. This hotel is absolutely huge. All of this is the hotel. This is like one quadrant of it as well. Okay, fast forward some time. We went to CVS, got some food and some snack stuff, but we've also ordered Taco Bell on Uber Eats and this will be the first sort of experience of American Taco Bell. I've personally had it in the UK before, so I'm intrigued to see if it's better or worse here than it is in the UK. But this is Zara's first time ever having Taco Bell. Right, so I've gone for a five layer taco, beef taco or something like that, is one of the mm. things. So what's that one? Cheesy chicken something, I don't know. It's really good, it's got guacamole. It's pretty similar to the UK, to be honest. Making the most of being able to order American food. We've also got some free trial for this Uber Eats thing, which means we get free delivery for a week, which is perfect timing for us. Soft Taco Supreme here. Give this a quick go. This is actually probably the most similar to the UK, like in terms of the fast food I've had in the US. I think it's probably more calorific. Yeah, yeah, I assume it's a way worse for you. Sun's just come out of. Well. I also forgot to try the drink for you guys, because I haven't tried this yet. This is a Mountain Dew Baja Blast, I think. There's loads of ice in there. Oh, straw is cracked. It reminds me of a ice lolly, some sort of ice lolly, or like Calippo shots. Some more time has passed, still weighing in CVS. Decided to get some different kind of food. So we've got this Twix, which is cookie dough flavor. Let's see what it's like. Hopefully it tastes all right. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it basically, they've replaced the caramel bit with cookie dough. I mean, it works. I don't think it's as good as a normal Twix, but it's not bad. Sarah and I have just come downstairs. This place is absolutely massive. I mean, this is the same hotel we're staying in, and we're nowhere near this bit. The scale is crazy. They've got an indoor water feature here. There's like a little stream running to it and everything. Absolutely nuts. We're meeting Caddy and Spam at two o'clock, which is in 15 minutes. I just thought it was worth showing you the scale of this place. It's absolutely huge. So we quickly came outside. There's a massive Ferris wheel. That's the bridge we drove over last night and could see this. Oh, this lovely marina. I can't believe it's January right now. Yeah. Look at the look at it. I'm in a t-shirt. This building here this is all part of Magfest here. Oh, wow, it's also over there. It's just this place. It's just America in general, but this place is absolutely huge. But yeah, when we drive over that bridge, this was all lit up really nicely. So I'll come back at some point in the night. But anyway, we're going to head back inside and go and meet with Caddy, Keris and the girls and see what happens from there. I think we're going to go get registered. So let's go. Okay, so as you can see, we found Paddy, here he is. We're now being escorted to go get our passes somewhere. It's very exciting. I think we get to skip the queue. I certainly wasn't expecting this. Well, it's like custom, isn't it? This is crazy, right? Okay, so this is the queue for everyone else. And as you can see... This is our queue. Our queue is this over here, apparently. So we're skipping... Skipping all of that. There's my attendee badge. Normal attendees with these, Paddy's the only one with a special thing, but obviously with Caddy being the special person, we got to skip the whole line. Now we're waiting for everyone else to get there, one of these. We've got a lanyard and then I guess we're good to go, basically. Okay, so we've just met up with a few people, we've got Ben, we've got Ginger Nuts. Ginger Nuts. Yeah, Ginger Nuts. And uh, Paddy brought them all gifts. So, uh, and uh, what else? Lots of English Why is there a dinosaur in here? Oh, fuck, it's just a dinosaur. Nick, there's a dinosaur. Why have I got a dinosaur? Yeah! She put it in. You wanted? Digestives, the oh, worst name for a biscuit of all time. Like <laughs> Why does the I UK have the dumbest names for everything? I was like, I got the thing, but there were 
digestives, but they were written in like Taiwanese or something. Oh right, yeah. yeah. Well, so you thought it was like mistranslation. Yeah, yeah. But they can't be called digestive. Patty, why didn't you get me a pair of shoes from Shoe? We had this thing. I was telling him about how we had games. Because that's where you buy games. And he was like, oh, what? Well, when you want to get a pair of shoes, you got a fucking shoe. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> also these as well. Oh Holy shit. They're plainer. But I think they're. I like Which things. I like things. Ah, oh, the classic one. And all of these Dunker. are just packs Dunker. of dairy milk. Ten bars. Say, like, I'm just giving them out. Yeah. Just giving them out. Go. I love things as a content. You get a chocolate bar. You get a chocolate bar. Right then, guys. A lot of time has passed. We've all got our passes, and we're going in to look round the shop section. Oh, I think we're going to go and look around. Look at brown. <laughs> look at brown. Look around. There's enough of that. There's enough of that. There's brown there. Brown door. You don't need to go to the shop for. We're going to go see what what delights are on offer for purchasing. Yeah, this hotel is so big that we have to walk past a set of elevators to get us to the elevators that we need to get down to where we are. So this is an area we hadn't even explored there. We hadn't even been to this level, so I didn't know this was here. We're coming up to the Danny DeVito shrine. Oh, I don't know when it was started. It's just something that they do. So basically, oh, no, no worries. So I'm going to come back throughout the weekend and see how much more stuff ends up here. Right then guys, here is the marketplace. We've got to show our bands and in we go. Okay, this is nuts. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the coolest bits rather than showing you everything. Oh, there's no point, yeah. You're there's so much in there, isn't there? Have a look at all these skateboards, they're pretty cool. Pretty close to my heart as well. Never really seen anything like this before. But you can, I think you can do custom designs. They've got different grip tape and stuff as well. Yeah, that's super cool. So. Caddy has got his list of uh, games that he needs to find in the US and he's having a look right now at what he can find. Pretty rad. This could be on the list. This is exciting. I guess if you didn't want to do any sort of gym battles, you can just take all of them and just pay for them in one go. No fights. This Pokemon deck's pretty cool as well, to be honest. Definitely wasn't expecting to see skateboards here, but yeah, I guess wall art is wall art. I love hanging skateboards on the wall. The Captain America and Captain Carter shields are pretty cool. They're actually metal as well, which is super cool, and they've been painted, so they look like the real thing. But there's also some lightsabers as well up there to cut that without them snapping is i know it's crazy so all of these they're all made out of computer parts how cool is that so every single one of these they're all circuit boards look at how cool these are look at that star wars one okay there was a lot to process in here and we've looked around everything caddy bought some stuff and has filled his bag up a little bit more there he is so we're now walking out okay wasn't expecting this so I didn't bring the camera, but we're on the uh, elevator on the outside. Oh, we haven't pressed the button to even go anywhere yet, because we need our room key. I don't think I've ever been in one like this. This is still the same hotel. Look at it, how massive this place is. Oh, we're going down, look at this. This is crazy. Fast forward some time. We're now watching Shark Tank. Everyone's in the room and food's just arrived. Zara's gone for Taco Bell again, but I've gone for Popeyes. I'm very excited to try this. So chicken sandwich. And mac and cheese looks like a pretty banging selection here so i'm gonna smash this down and then i'll let you know how it is okay guys just finished well i say just finished i'm very full the food was very good i'm super glad that i got to try popeyes here because we have recently had popeyes in the uk which is very exciting i need to send some light is it worth driving to wherever it is there's yeah. actually one in oxford now but now i'm with caddy it's just us two we're on a so a duo mission <laughs> we're going to a hotel room to meet and dude who's that i don't even know i don't actually know who's there and dude, uh, game apologist. I'm not sure who else. He said there's like seven people there right now and they might invite more. Nice. So, so that's what we're doing. That's, that's why there's two of us. Yeah. But there's, we're, to... we're seven, so it would have been like 20 people in the room. It wasn't going to work. Hello. Okay, we bumped into one of Caddy's never, fans. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt. I've never seen that Toyota before. I really? Actually, no, it's really cool. I like it. Subaru did the BRZ, which is the same car. That's, so that's it's the same car. I was going to say because it looks familiar, yeah, but I, exactly the same. So we're heading over to this hotel room to chill with all of those people. I'm not going to film it, so I'll let you know. So what is going to happen is I'll see you guys. It's off the record. Morning. <laughs> it's off the record. You can't know what we're doing. Yeah, I don't want to shove a camera in people's faces oh, all day. So to see a Mustang without a blacked out window. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> prefer that clear for the your car. Over oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go, it depends on the colour you get. Wow, look That's at this. Awesome. You could do it and shoot a long exposure photo and the whole thing would just be a sec. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow.
So it's the next day, it is the morning and something I didn't realise yesterday or this whole time we've been here is, I don't know, it just dawned on me yesterday, is this whole thing out here, right? I was thinking that this was the floor, but actually this is the roof of something because we're on the sixth floor here. Today the plan is that we're going to have a look around Magfest, I think we're going to go to some thrift shops and I think we're going to Target today as well to grab some stuff because that's what you got to do when you're in the US. Yeah, join us on this day to see what we end up doing because at the moment it's sort of a very loose plans we don't really know what we're gonna do okay we've got Caddy here's our uh, we've got everyone else here as well uh, we are going back into the marketplace a bit I think it's a lot quieter at the moment so I'm about to go past the Danny DeVito shrine so I'm gonna show you the daily update of that it hasn't grown too much but there's just a lot of little bits just me and Zara right now, we've just split off from the others, they're looking in the shop bit, which I don't think there's anything else in there for us, but this I think is like an indie game sort of try it out place. People have just brought their games along, like there's loads of stuff to do, a lot of cool design machines and things, stuff like this, so you can watch people, what the people are doing on the walls. I think you can pretty much just try stuff, I think. That's what it looks like anyway. So Caddy has found the fan gamer thing. This is one of his favorite stores that sells like official merch and stuff. I can see him buying a lot of things here. Okay, so Caddy is still queuing for a load of the stuff at that stall, but me and Zara have just come in here. So we've got dance machines here. Well, it's just a ton of games to play. So nuts. I've never seen so many arcade machines in one place before. This is absolutely insane. Hey, Zara's on it. Just giving the dance mat things a go. Look at her go. That was quick. That was so quick. I like it. This is mad. I didn't even think these would all be free to play. How brilliant is this? Okay then, so we're gonna go get some lunch because it is now nearly two o'clock and completely forgot about food, so we're all heading to a restaurant opposite. Here is everyone. We've just dropped all the stuff off in our room so that no one has to carry anything that they've just bought. So we're going to a restaurant over the road and they don't take booking, so hopefully we can get in. So we're out the front of the hotel and this, I the scale, the scale. This isn't even all of the building. So we're not, I don't even think we're staying in that section of it. And then it still obviously goes behind that as well. I think we're staying like down behind all of this. So our plan is to try the Cadillac Ranch in the first place. Caddy's been to it before. Just about can see that as the first coolish guy, I suppose, but apart from a Mustang, that was the R35 GTR. Actually a car on the roof. Pretty cool. This place though, authentic America is what this feels like. I've gone for barbecue pulled pork and bacon thing and tater tots and I've got a root beer here as well. I'm very excited for this. Caddy's gone full send with what he's got. He's ordered basically a load of sides for himself. I'm going to eat this and then I think we're heading back inside. So Caddy is getting one of these. Look how cool these things are. Look at that. There's a load of different Pokemon ones and different consoles. Caddy's just got a DS version which are one of these super cool. We're now outside. I thought I'd show you the most American thing ever. Look at the massive American flag. Look at that. America. Okay, so fast forward loads of time. As you can see, we're in a panel room now because Caddy is jumping on stage as a guest for a panel for playing a game. So I'm just going to grab some shots. I'll probably try and get him coming out on stage and all that sort of stuff. This is the first time I would have seen Caddy at a proper panel, especially obviously in the US. So this should be really interesting to see one of my best mates on stage. This is going to be cool. So yeah, let's see what happens. This next guest, I am truly so excited to present to you a man who I have apparently been in contact with for a long time. He told me he sent me an email a long time ago, and I found out that I was mostly nice with my response. Eek, this guy is so freaking funny. He came all the way from the UK to be at MAGFest, and he agreed to be in this panel and just hit a million subscribers. Jim Caddick, a.k. Cat Icarus. Oh my God. Caddy, what's your answer for it? Is that a pistol in your pocket or? Is that a pistol in your pocket or did you climb the lower half of my body? Hit <laughs> <laughs> the stump for 5,000 and Caddy's on the board! <laughs> you 
science is thinking you've figured everything out, but even you can't explain why your fucking game doesn't work, friend. <laughs> So the panel is now over and this is basically what happens when Caddy's at conventions. Loads of people come and talk to him. So we now stand over here and wait for him to have spoke to everyone. But it's super cool that everyone comes up. It's so rad that people get to meet him in person because everyone is clearly such a massive fan. It's, it's super cool. So yeah, we're now going to wait whilst he talks to everyone. And there we go. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but a couple of people recognised who I was whilst Caddy was he also- He wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Yeah, he was. He was hoping for it. I mean, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's cool being noticed for a channel that I very rarely have my face on. I'm usually the obviously the other side of the camera. So yeah, while Caddy was talking, there's a reason to... for that. <laughs> so whilst Caddy was talking to people, yeah, a couple of people noticed that it was me. I came out of chat with me, so we got some pictures with people and stuff as well. Just super cool. But it's currently now half ten-ish, so I think we're Got basically it. yeah, I know. So I think we're gonna get some food. Everyone else is still here and then call it a night, I think, because I think we're going to do some sightseeing, yeah. sightseeing tourist stuff tomorrow, go see the White Houses. I think we're about 16 minute drive away, which it seems crazy not to go and do. So we're going to go do some touristy stuff tomorrow. We've gone to Wendy's. I've never had a Wendy's in the US because we just got these in the UK. This looks so good. So this is a triple date. Look, square patties, super weird. And I've got some baconated fries, but this burger smells absolutely amazing. So let's see how it is. Here we go. Josh. Oh wow. Yeah. This is so good. That's incredibly, incredibly good. Probably one of the best fast food burgers I've ever had. Is it better than Dick's? So it's not better than Dick's, but I feel like that was more of a specialized, like, they're not really like a, an American chain. Chain, yeah, yeah. For a chain, like, this is way better than McDonald's. So in the UK, I've only tried the Baconator burger, so I definitely need to try the Triple Dave in the UK now to see if it's the same. I'm going to eat the rest of this, everyone else is going to eat their food, and then I think I'll just catch you guys tomorrow for us travelling to the White House. Alright guys, so today is the day that we are going to the White House and all that stuff. I'm just about to head down now, go get in the lift to get over to the White House, because that is stop number one. Very much looking forward to seeing these places in real life, so let's see what happens. All right then guys, we've made it. We are actually here before Caddy, Keris and the kids because we can't all fit in one car. So we've got two rides and ours came sooner than theirs did, so we're here early. But this building right here is the treasury. Uh, is it's just pretty, yeah. Okay, yeah? Yeah, look, there's the treasury department on the building. It's way more grand here than I was expecting. I don't know, it just feels almost like European, paris -y kind of vibes. I think the White House is literally there. <laughs> this is here, I could it's be wrong. A, it's a white looking house. We'll go over there, but in the meantime, check this out. They're just playing roller hockey outside the building. And there it is. And it's not actually as big as a, either of us were expecting, to be honest. It's weird seeing it in real life, though. That is very true. Yeah, I'll try and get a better view of it, but it is very touristy, as you can probably imagine. Look, we found everyone. Everyone is now here. Yay! But who else is here? The Prez. Oh, me. The Prez. It's Mr. Prez. It's B Day. <laughs> President B Day. What time's your meeting with the Prez then? Oh, I've already had it. Oh, right. Yeah, he told me it was okay to stand here. There we go. That is the closest to the centre I can get right now. So, there we go. The White House is definitely smaller than I was expecting. It's a house, it is white, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool though. It's, it's yeah, it's cool that we've been there now. But basically, we're now going to walk, I think, to the monument. Well, it is there. Okay, we've made it to the monument thing, but we nearly died. Yeah, almost witnessed some crazy altercation where someone pulled a knife out, so that was pretty mad. We made it to here, so at least we're all right. Here's the building. We are going to try and get up there if we can. Tickets get released every day at 9 a.m. to be able to go up the same day. So we're going to go to the building and see if we can get them, but they are only a dollar. So if we can make, if they have any tickets, we will do it. But I don't think they're gonna have any. Uh, our suspicions were correct. We definitely can't get up there. I just asked someone and they said that there's no tickets left for today. So we are now gonna head to the what we think is the Lincoln Memorial. I'm pretty sure it's the Lincoln Memorial. Yeah, Jefferson's over there. So. Just down here. So that's where we're going next. Hi there. 
actually what is right here is a World War II memorial and I like that it's all in line so if you spin full 180 you then got this here so all the way on the other side is the Capitol building I believe so I like that it is all in line <laughs> Daddy's found a friend. I've got a friend. Oh, he's coming. Hey. Oh, my God. They're ready. Hey. Are they? How are you doing? this thing now and what I never noticed is that it has you can see it has all the states written on it this is way more of an impressive building in terms of scale than the White House obviously everything is in line look and here is the man himself it is pretty cool like so what he looks at is everything below a nice little quote there as well Here is that I have a dream bit from Martin Luther King. This was, I guess, where he stood. Pretty crazy when you actually see it in person, like the scale. I want some bikes. Easier to film with my phone. Everyone else has got in a, in a car. We decided to cycle because we're going to head to the Capitol building. But yeah, look at this. So we've made it to the Capitol. Well, we're, we're still kind of close. Sarah's up ahead on her bike. Nice little Aventador as well. Okay, so we're gonna go drop these bikes off now that we've made it, and then I'll pull the main camera back out again. That was super fun. So yeah, there's the Capitol building. It seems to be covered in some sort of scaffolding at the moment, so they must be doing that some work to it. We go traveling. Yeah, we, we always- any, Like all the buildings we visit, like are under construction. Under construction. <laughs> yeah, we might get some food from the food trucks. We're not totally sure what our plan is anymore. Caddy Karras and the girls have all gone back because their lift that was supposed to bring them to here ended up taking them somewhere completely different that then got to the point where it was like well we might as well go back now so they've had it back so it's just us on a solo mission here because of the time we decided to actually get food before going to capital building so i've gone for a philly cheesesteak from a food truck which looks pretty banging sarah's gone for what is it chicken gyro sandwich thing so i'm going to eat this and then we're going to go to the capital building and here we are so apparently all the scaffolding and everything is just because they are restoring the stone the view from here though is pretty wild everything in a line Pretty crazy. So everything overlooks each other. So you can see all, I don't know if you can see that from here, but you can see the Lincoln Memorial all the way down the other end as well. Pretty mad. So we've walked around to the other side of the building and actually this side is way more impressive. And actually, I think there's even less people around here. For some reason, there's no one coming up to this building, which is pretty mad. The scale of these buildings is absolutely insane. And here is the Supreme Court. It's mad, there's literally no one here. For anywhere else in the world, these places would be rammed. And we're just used to whenever we travel anywhere, this sort of place would be rammed. It's closed, I guess that might be a part of it, but literally nowhere around here is busy. It's just weird, like this is the capital of the US and there's no one here looking at stuff. I just find that really weird. I think we're actually just gonna head back now. I think that's the plan. We're gonna go back to the hotel because it's getting a bit cold now. We just wanna get back and meet up with Caddy and the guys. Fast forward a load of time, just got to Target. I'm not gonna film while we're in there because I've got a load of stuff to get for other people, but basically everyone's super excited that we're even going here, so in we go. Target was a big success. Uh, sorry for the mess, but look at all the bags we've got. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags from Target and also grab some stuff from CVS. It's been a few hours since I last updated you, so we've been for dinner, just me and Zara. We went to this barbecue place that's really local. It was all right wasn't mind-blowing but what we have decided to do for dessert is we've decided to try another Ben and Jerry's we've gone for the the tonight dough which is the Jimmy Fallon special edition one I guess very excited to try that all eight of these bags we've somehow got to get into that suitcase and we've got a bit of space in another one as well yeah let's see what this Ben and Jerry's is like okay this looks absolutely amazing Look at how good that looks. So let's see how it is. Should be nice and soft. Perfect consistency. We grabbed spoons from CVS as well because there's none in the room. All right, let's see what this is like. See if it's better than the one I tried last time I was it. Mm. Oh, hello. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is way better than the one I had when I was in Seattle. Oh, that peanut butter is so good. So yeah, this is a caramel and chocolate ice cream with chocolate cookie swirls and gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and peanut butter cookie dough. Pretty amazing combo. Would recommend if you can get your hands on it. The vanilla ice cream, same as the last one I tried. Nowhere near as flavorful as the UK vanilla ice cream. We're gonna chill for a bit, eat this entire pot of ice cream because obviously we have no freezer. We've got a fridge, but no freezer. And then I think go and explore downstairs, but I might not film that because I think I need to be a bit more mobile to be able to just experience what's down there. Okay, I thought I would just film something on my phone quick. This is a skateboarding game where you actually stand on a skateboard. So I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see what happens. All these games are free to play, by the way. Okay, this guy is insanely good at this game. Fair play. This guy is so good at this. Okay, this is Zara behind the camera now. Ollie is uh, playing a car game. That's all I know, but he is very excited. super fun. I know you probably can't really hear me because it's so loud in here. I couldn't even hear my own car whilst trying to drive that course but pretty cool to be able to have the blue S2000 like mine at home. Yeah this place is insane. The fact that everything here is like free to play is just so cool. But it's currently quarter to two in the morning which is pretty nuts. Yeah I don't know. <sighs> All right guys, it is the final day and a pretty late night last night at those arcades. I think we got to bed at like 3 a.m. or something like that. Just packed everything up. This suitcase completely full of all the food and everything but it all fits and there is space for other stuff as well so we're just about to go check out well meeting everyone else and then i think we're going to head back into the arcade i think that's part of the plan today the flight i think it's near 11 p.m tonight so actually we've got most of today to still do stuff anyway which is cool but first we've got to get all of our stuff out of this room yeah let's see where the day takes us before heading back to the uk super loud in here but i think what i'll do is i'll just get some montage of all the games that we play Okay, so Caddy and Zara are just doing a song together. But Caddy's gone on a pass, so I really want to see this. I've never seen him on a dance mat, so let's see how he does. Caddy's going to try this beat game. We have no idea how to play it. There was a tutorial. We're just going to skip the tutorial. Caddy's going for it straight in. I'm going to play a game where I'm driving an S2000 again. Whilst I'm playing this game here, Caddy's playing the Need to Be Done Agro over there. Had a quick code on the Need to Be Done Agro game, way harder than the other one. Okay, so this game's pretty cool, so you basically go and get a penny at the pool. In the middle of the it's, it's, I'm hoping if we set it up right, it's me against Paddy, but we don't know if it's all in Japanese. Final round. 
I'm destroying him. I'm just gonna put the camera down, play some games, and then I'll get back to you once this is over because we've currently only got 25 minutes until this hall apparently closes. I'll update you guys once we know what's happening after this. No, you're going sideways. You're, you're falling. Yeah, you're falling. Yeah, that's it. Can he do one? Can he do one? Can he? I think you have to show us again. Okay, this is how you do it, man. You kind of go like this. Go that way. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going, keep going. <laughs> like that. Okay. You did it. Yay. I just can't do it with my legs straight and no, holding no. my ankles. That's the problem. Not a good idea. <laughs> once for you, once for your ass. Okay. We are going to go get some food. I won't bore you with that again. Basically, everyone got kicked out of that hall not long after we left. Okay, guys. That is going to be the end of this video. Everyone is here. We are just heading back to the hotel to pick up our bags to be able to fly back. But the flight's going to be the same as the way there. All that remains for me to say is massive thanks to Caddy for bringing us along. Yay! <laughs> also, Karis, thank you to you too. Only said thank you to you. I'm saying thank what? you to you. <laughs> Oh, I didn't do anything. What are we thanking each other for? I'm thanking you for bringing, bringing us along. We took them on. Oh, this you know, whole that thing. thing, that thing. This whole thing. I hope you guys have enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you've made it this long, fair play. Thanks, Ollie. This is. This is. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, hope you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below which bit was your favourite bit. I don't know. If you made it this far. You obviously must have enjoyed it. Ollie, what was their favourite food? Yeah, what was your favourite <laughs> food? Was your favorite no food one actually commented. Uh, maybe one person commented on the last video what their favourite food what was. Your favorite so. food that you didn't have. <laughs> yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Ah!